We're gonna be making whiskey fig blondies today. We've been making these at Ovenly for a really long time and they're a great twist on a traditional blondie. So let's get started. What's our first step here? We're going to be warming the whiskey. We'll get it to a soft boil and then we'll pour it all over the dried fruit. Mm. Do you ever drink the whiskey? We actually take the remaining whiskey and we put it back into the blondies to make them uh, extra boozy. Yeah, that makes sense. Can you tell us a little bit about the fruits here? Sure, so there's dried mission figs and red dried currants. I grew up eating currants as a kid and I love using them in baking. So the dried fruits and the whiskey pair really nicely together. It's well balanced, the fruit isn't overly sweet, the whiskey has a nice toffee flavor. So we're going to measure out the whiskey, which is about a cup. You can see it's starting to get to a slow boil and this is the time to just pull it off or give yourself a whiskey facial. <laughs> Sounds good. And then me. pour it over the fruit. <laughs> and then you just wanna make sure that the fruit is fully covered in the alcohol. And then we're gonna let it sit for about an hour or so, and then we'll start making the blondies. So what's next? So we've got the fruit that's been sitting in the whiskey. Do you wanna Look, taste it? Yeah, dude, it looks so different. I can taste Ooh. the whiskey and the fruit. It tastes amazing. Mm. So we're gonna strain the fruit and we're not going to get rid of the rest of the whiskey. We're gonna save it. There we go. Oh, it looks so dark and like gorgeous. I know. And so. that's gonna have that fruit flavor mm. in it. So we're gonna mix our dries now. We're gonna throw flour into the bowl and we're just using regular AP flour here. Some salt. It's about a teaspoon. Baking powder and then cloves, which I love mm. because it pairs really well with the whiskey. You can smell that. Mm. But it's also reminiscent of the holidays and yeah. it just, they taste good. Are we adding pepper to this? I forgot about the pepper. <laughs> There's pepper in this. That's amazing. And then we're just gonna whisk this together really quickly. Just wanna make sure that it's all really evenly distributed. Now that we're done whisking our dry ingredients, we're gonna move on to the wet ingredients. Perfect. And we wanna use unsalted butter because you like to control the amount of salt that you're putting into your baked goods. And we're going to add light brown sugar. Is there a reason you use light and not dark? Light brown sugar has a less intense molasses -y flavor. So because there's whiskey in here and we're adding the dried fruit and spices, we want those flavors to really come out. If you use dark sugar, they're just gonna make it more molasses -y and caramely, which is great. So it just depends on your preference. We're just going to mix the brown sugar into the butter. And you wanna make this mixture just really nice and creamy. All right, so now that we have that mixed together, we're going to add two eggs into here. I love watching how people crack their eggs. Everyone does it differently. <laughs> how did I do? Oh, you did <laughs> Are you judging me right no. now? <laughs> I'm adding some vanilla into here as well. Mm. And the last piece of this is we have the reserved whiskey. So we're just going to pour that into the wet mixture. Amazing. Do you want me to stir look, away? Look, look, oh. you forgot a little whisk. <laughs> I know. Just dump that in. No. So we want to swap out the whisk for a spoon. I like to use a wooden spoon because it's a little bit more gentle. Mm. And we're just going to add the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. The reason I like to add the dry ingredients into the wet is that then they won't settle on the bottom, right? So when you're mixing, mm. you're not having flour bits settling at the bottom. You're able to get everything so that it becomes an even mixture, which is the whole point of what we're doing right now. Make a mixture that's even and where the flour bits are all incorporated so that, that it's smooth. We're going to add the macerated fruit and the coconut into this mixture. And you just wanna incorporate this in. And now, Gorgeous. This is, yeah, this is the really fun part for me. Now that we've got that mixed in, we're gonna put it right into the prepared pan. So we wanna grease the pan and then uh, with butter and then flour it very lightly. It's just to prevent the blondies from sticking to the pan. And what you wanna do is just spread it evenly into the pan so that it bakes evenly as well. All right, and now we're just gonna to top it with these chopped pistachios. 
I like the flavor of the added pistachios with the fruit and the caramely flavor and the whiskey. Now we're ready to bake these. We're going to bake these at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes. At 30 minutes, you just want to use a toothpick, put it in the center and see if they're ready. And we're going to eat these afterwards. Thank you so much for teaching me how to make your blondies. I'm now gonna teach you how to make my ice cream. Thought it'd be nice to have some ice cream with the, with the blondies later. This is my no churn ice cream with vanilla bean and whiskey. My readers really love this recipe because it's super simple. It's one step. You don't need to take the ice cream out of the fridge and fluff it up and do anything. It's just whisk, freeze, and eat. I love simple recipes, so I'm so excited to try this. Yeah, it's just some heavy cream here. I have two cups. This is a half cup of sugar. And I'm just adding all of this at once. And we're gonna add a vanilla bean. Do you wanna Ooh. get that caviar for me? Sure. I love that vanilla bean seeds are called caviar. And I love using fresh vanilla bean if I can because it has this muskiness that extract doesn't have. But if you wanna just use extract, that's okay too. All right, so, we've got it perfect. all there. We're gonna add a little salt. I like to add salt to my ice cream. I think it helps. So the final ingredient in this ice cream is whiskey. This one in particular has rum notes and it's gonna be vanilla -y, toffee like This works really well, obviously, with the vanilla bean we have here. So do you taste the whiskey? Is it is it yeah. really pronounced or is it just like a hint of flavor? I, I think it's a hint. I'm using the Balvenie today. I think whiskey and cream are a match made in heaven. How long do you have to whisk it for? Um, it depends on how fast you are. <laughs> so you're basically making uh, like a whipped cream. Yeah, right exactly. Oh, cool. How do you know when to stop? I think once you're tired, it's probably like a <laughs> time to stop. It's getting there? I mean, you're basically looking for a nice whipped cream. Okay. I kind of want to taste this. Wow, that tastes incredible. And mm -hmm. you can taste the whiskey, but it's subtle. Yeah. It's a really nice flavor. Yeah. I love it. So is this ready or what? This is ready. Yeah. Now we can just transfer it into that. cover it with some plastic wrap. We're gonna put this in the freezer for about four hours, but it's also good to keep overnight. So these are mm. definitely ready. And you know they're ready when they're pulling from the sides a little bit. You've got that like crispy, darker caramelized edge. We're gonna let these cool for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how patient you are. And then we'll get to eat them with your ice cream. I can't wait to taste these. Perfect. Look at that texture. It's like fluffy. Wow. Here go. That looks gorgeous. That's for you. Grab this one. Oh, that's good and beautiful. I like that you went for the blondie and I went for the ice cream. <laughs> wow. I've had that plenty of times. This is so good. Thank you. All right. Your now, blondie now is I'm, so good. Now I'm going for the mm. full. It's so fudgy. For me, what's really surprising about the blondie is I can taste the whiskey right away, but it's not overpowering or anything. And the ice cream is just the perfect topping for yeah. it. There's also something great about the fact that both of these desserts are make ahead, right? You can do them way in yes. advance. Yeah. I think that's really useful during the holidays. You keep talking and I'm just gonna keep eating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Cheers. Cheers. 